Here we have a Foxborough model 843 differential pressure transmitter connected to a terminal block with a 250 ohm resistor network. That's actually 4,000 ohm resistors connected in parallel. And that is paralleled to an analog voltmeter, which is currently measuring just under one volt, and powered up by a pair of nine volt batteries in series for a power supply voltage of approximately 18 volts. The purpose of the circuit is to demonstrate the pressure measuring capabilities of the transmitter as well as the vacuum measuring abilities. If we take a look at this particular transmitter, uh, you'll notice that the right hand side here is the high pressure port and the left hand side is the low pressure port. It may be difficult to see but there's a letter H and a letter L right there. So the high and low pressure ports determine the direction of response for the transmitter. If I apply a positive pressure to the high pressure port, that'll drive the milliamp signal upscale. In other words, we'll get a larger voltage reading on our voltmeter, corresponding to a larger amount of current in the circuit. Correspondingly, if we apply a negative pressure or a vacuum to the low side, that will have the same effect on the transmitter as a positive pressure on the high side. Either way, we're taking the diaphragm in the middle, we're flexing it to the left. Greater pressure on the right-hand side than the left will flex the diaphragm to the left and that results in an increased reading. So what I'm going to do now is take a short length of plastic tube and I'll apply the plastic tube to the high pressure port. Now I'll focus my attention on the voltmeter and we'll see the response as I apply a positive pressure to the transmitter. And you can see as I applied a positive pressure the voltmeter reading went up indicating a greater milliamp signal. Now what I'll do is disconnect the tube and temporarily attach it to the low pressure port. Now remember, in this setting, it's going to respond in the same manner to a vacuum as it did to a pressure on the high side. So let's watch once again. There we go. A little bit more difficult for me to apply a suction to the transmitter, but you saw the voltage reading increase. If I were to apply a positive pressure to this port, it would cause the milliamp signal to go down and we'd see a slight decrease in the voltmeter's reading. Like that. But if I apply a vacuum to the low side, that vacuum will cause an increased reading. Like that. And that's a simple pressure vacuum response of a differential pressure transmitter.